Hey y'all, I'm in St. Albans, Vermont, also known as the Rail City, and I'm headed to 14 Star Brewing Company to meet with its founders, U.S. Army veteran Steve Gagne and Matt Cahaya. Now, 14 Star has become a wildly popular craft brewery established in St. Albans, Vermont, with a socially conscious mission to give back to their community. Steve and Matt have now taken it even further with their new initiative, Danger Close Craft Distilling. Today, we'll discuss their mission of helping veterans overcome obstacles by creating a support network so that their fellow soldiers can pursue their dreams after coming home. When Matt and I were in Afghanistan, we had previously been home brewing for several years. We knew we didn't want to stay in the Army forever. We actually wrote a business plan at the patrol base in the back of my notebook. And then when we got home, we built the first brewery and it just exploded really from there, figuratively, not literally. <laughs> Now, since its doors opened in 2012, 14 Star has expanded their brewery and even added a tap room, which hosts live local entertainment and charitable events. Now, here's the cool part. They give back to their communities by donating a portion of their profits to local and statewide charities, as well as veteran causes. All of our beers actually go to support either a veteran or local cause just because through the power of something as simple as beer, we can make our little corner of the world a bit better. If nothing else, when we do these community events, veterans charities or fundraisers, at the end of the day, you can go to bed saying, we made a difference. I don't think it matters if we were brewing beer, making soap, or sandwiches. We would still be the same company doing the same things. We just happen to brew the world's greatest beer. Following the success of 14 Star, Steve and Matt have expanded their efforts into Danger Close Craft Distilling along with fellow veteran Zach Fike. Their company's mission, aiding veterans who often have a hard time finding their own mission after coming home. Imagine being 20 years old, you're in the prime of your life and you just did some pretty amazing stuff. It was exciting, scary, fulfilling, and worthwhile, and you got to help. And to come home with this sense of achievement and adventure, and then three weeks later to say, I don't know that I can ever live up to that. It's difficult. And I feel like a lot of them get depressed that they can't ever do anything again that will match the magnitude of what they've already done. Danger Close Craft Distilling will be tied to a, a separate nonprofit so we can also raise money for this program. And at no cost to the veteran, we want to bring them to Vermont and translate some of the stuff that they learn in the service into what that means in the business world. So for example, you talk about strategic planning in the business world, well in the Army it's called the Army Design Methodology. And most people coming out of the service don't realize that they've been taught this system. And so instead of soldiers being fearful of getting out of the service, because they don't know what they're gonna do next or they don't know if they'll be successful. We wanna demystify it and give them the confidence and say, you have all the skills necessary to become an entrepreneur. The veterans are entrepreneurs more than they know. They can do all of the things that any CEO or CFO can do. They are already doing it in the military standpoint. And when people leave the military, they're just looking to fill that void. Most of the time, they don't know how and they just don't know who to turn to. With the Danger Close program, I saw it firsthand with Steve and Matt. And I watched them go from doing a hobby, something that they love, and build a company into what we see here today. It allowed me to not be fearful. I took exactly what these guys did, the love of what they do, and I turned it into what I love to do as a mentorship program with kids. We are two different things, but at the same time, we're using the same military system. And in turn, we're pulling each other up. I'm able to use their knowledge, their experiences, and I don't have to go through the same heartache and pain of the entrepreneurial world. What do you wish everybody transitioning home knew when they got home? I think the best thing we can do for veterans outside of what we're trying to do here is getting veterans to talk to other veterans and let them know, hey, I've been there. I know what it feels like, it's okay, and things are gonna get better. Find a mentor, find other veterans, just so when you're having a rough time of it, that you can reach out to them. When someone's coming out of the service, you know, I still see them as my soldier. We feel like it's our duty to reach out to them, help mentor, develop, teach, coach, and prepare them for future success. You have the tools and the capacity and the skills to do some pretty fantastic things. And all it takes is vision and the willingness to put in massive amounts of effort. The most exciting days of your life are still ahead of you. And that's what we're trying to provide to them.
For more information on the resources and support available, visit veterans.vermont.gov. To learn more about this documentary series, visit comminghomewithjamielee.com.